Well, this is kind of one of those dreary days. We haven't seen sun in a while, so it's time to stop by a familiar location on Tommy Travels the Second. Hey, look, St. Paul. Well, hello there, and welcome to a gloomy but beautiful day here for Tommy Travels the Second. I figured since it's gloomy out here, we'll go inside to the Como Zoo Park and Conservatory and warm up a little bit. Get a feel of that sunshine tropical effect. <laughs> it's easy when you live in warm weather, but when you live in Minnesota, you have to take what you can get, anywhere you can get it. And the Como Zoo, that's like the gift that keeps on giving. So we're gonna find out what else we can learn here today. And if you guys are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. This should be interesting, so come on with me, let's go see what there is to see. And so the first place I wanted to stop by real quick is this Tropical Encounter exhibit. And look what we have pretty little bird getting a little drink of water here this morning and of course if I stop in here I need to stop by and say hi to the turtles look at these guys <laughs> just kind of one right on top of the other around here they must be all good buddies Hello there little fella now that's the mata mata is, a, mata is an old Spanish word for death Oh, okay. Matador. All right. And these are yellow belly? Spotted yellow belly. Spotted yellow belly. Okay. That's for lack of a better name. <laughs> then you see some uh, stingrays out here, deep. That's why the stingrays out there. Oh, yeah. They come from the Orinoco, Amazon, and La Plata rivers. Okay. And uh, they get to be about two feet in diameter maximum. That's about as big as they are full grown. Full grown. Well, it looks like they've got quite a bit of construction going on here at the Como Zoo. And I'm not sure what they're all doing here, but it's quite a large piece of land that's torn up here right now. And I'll bet there's gonna be some amazing things for us to see in the future on Tommy Travels the Second. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. A Siberian tiger within 20 yards of me. Holy cow. I was just walking by, I'm trying to go to another destination, but I had to show you that since he walked right by me. And there he is down there. I thought he was going to go into his hut, but he's still, still walking around, making the, making the paces. And here we are at the aquatic center in the Minnesota Zoo. And look what I have come across. <laughs> Some penguins. Right there, just hanging out. Hey there, buddy. Look at these guys, just kind of all lined up here on the shoreline of the, the little pool that they have to swim in as well. Wow. You can just stand here for a surprisingly long time and just look at these little guys. So cute. And they've got this cool little aquarium set up. And underneath the water, there's some fish swimming around over here and Look at this guy, coming in for his close-up. You know, they have this other little aquarium right here with some fish swimming around. It doesn't say what kind, but they are very colorful. Look at that little guy. Just hanging out, and look at this guy. I love his yellow colors he's got sporting there. Ooh! He he almost got ran into by this one over here saying get out of my way and look they have these little penguin sculptures here also hanging out on the side of the shore just like your buddies that we saw when we came in here oh look the sea lion exhibit oh look at this guy he's climbing up on the rocks is he gonna jump in no nope going to take a little rest. Oh, look at that. When I woke up this morning, I did not think I would be this close to some sea lions swimming around and having fun. Yeah. 
Oh, look. They're fun to watch. It looks like he must have an itch. <laughs> if you were wondering how sea lions scratch their itches, I think we're finding out right here. And look at these guys here. These are giant archer fish. Wow. And look at this one swimming right by. Those are some awesome bright blue eyes you have there, my friend. And look at this little guy right over here. I don't know if that's a blue archer, but look at him. He's got the spots on there. He's just motorboating right along. This, what we're looking at right here, is a tufted puffin. And they have different looks to them. And here are some tufted puffins right here. Hanging out on the rocks. These three guys on the lower level and this guy up there taking care of the top end, looking down. Stretching out his wings. There you go. So they've got this round aquarium here with fish swimming throughout. And my favorite is this guy right here. I'm not sure exactly what that is, so if you know, leave a comment below. But he sure is cool. I'm not sure what he is, but he's cool. Look at him right there. What a cutie. He's just kind of sitting there posing for the camera, and then he swims away. Looks like he's chasing after his buddy over there. Or having a race. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. All sorts of all sorts of excitement going on. Wow. It's like they're giving us a, a personal show. They said, we know that these guys are gonna be here. Ooh. <laughs> They're getting into the world rest. We got into a little wrestling match there. Oh. And if you wondered how the sea lions sound, that's how they sound. Wow. This was worth the price of admission. Which is free at the Como Sea, by the way. So that's not saying much, but. If I had paid, it would have been worth it. Well, you guys, this has been another successful adventure today at the Kobo Zoo Aquatic Center. And it has been an absolute blast hanging out with you guys today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it. It just gives you future updates on videos that are yet to come and lets you be the first to know when a new video comes out. And you guys, thank you so much for the support that you've given me so far. If you'd like to follow my main channel, Tommy Travels, there's a link in the description below. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side.